And this evening, a 13 year old is being charged in connection with the vandalism at Casanova Park. Between your sides, Andy Payton joins us live from Casanova Park with the latest from officials and reaction from the Olmstead Parks Conservancy. Andy. Scott, authorities say the 13 year old contributed to up to $5,000 worth of damages. This shattered window behind me is just a small part of that and marks the second time a city park has been hit by vandalists this month. Tonight, authorities say they've arrested the culprit responsible for tarnishing what many consider to be one of the brightest spots of the city. This is a jewel of South Buffalo. It's a jewel of the city. It's a jewel for the community. Uh, Kaz Park, it's there for everybody to use in the community, and it's not there to be damaged. Officials say a 13-year-old Buffalo resident has been petitioned to family court and charged with felony criminal mischief after authorities say video surveillance showed two separate instances of vandalism at Casanova Park this weekend, where juveniles were seen smashing glass doors at the park's casino, breaking mirrors and sinks in a public restroom, and harassing a female park worker. And while a suspect has been arrested, it's very disheartening. Beth Downing, the park's executive director, says the scars still remain. Our workers, you know, spend a lot of time every single day cleaning up um, the parks and to have it destroyed like that is just disheartening. It comes almost two weeks after another act of vandalism was committed across town at MLK Park. While an arrest here has still yet to be made, officials say surveillance footage tells them this act was once again committed by a juvenile. When these kids are out doing damage, is it because they have nothing else to do with tonight? The commissioner stressing the city has options for juveniles during the summer, pleading the parents to do what they can to keep another one of the city's jewels from being tarnished. We want to make sure that we get to these kids so that they have things to occupy their time, uh, but they have to be held accountable as well. Now, authorities are still looking for those who may be responsible for the vandalism that took place in Martin Luther King Park two weeks ago and are also looking for additional information to the vandalism that took place here. They're also asking individuals tonight to report any suspicious activity to the police to help protect the city and its parks. Reporting live in Buffalo, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.